Why are people spending around $200 for one of these when you could use a Raspberry Pi instead? Let's find out. So this is the Mister. Actually, it's a D10 Nano with an add-on board and a replacement fan. And it's a FPGA based board. And that means it can recreate hardware of the past or any hardware that you can create in the VHDL or other software. And rather it being an emulation in that it's interpreting the input and trying to recreate the experience, the actual hardware itself at the logic level is recreated on the FPGA. And that means it's as close as you can get to the original hardware, providing the developer does the job correctly. So right now, most of the cores on here are 8-bit cores or early arcade systems. But the software is getting to the point now where it's being able to recreate 16-bit systems like the Amiga, the Atari ST, uh, the Sega Mega Drive. And it recreates them as cycle level accurate. That means that where there's a custom chip or where there's any fancy hardware, in an em emulator, it has to run very fast to emulate the parallel operation with an FPGA. It really does happen in parallel, just like those custom chips would have done. So on the Commodore 64, you've got your SID chip, and on the Amiga, you've got hardware sprites. They actually happen in hardware instead of the software trying to interpret it. That means there's very, very low latency. Most of the latency actually comes from displaying on a HDMI device and from your gamepad rather than from the system itself. And it means that from a developer point of view, your machine code is going to operate like the original machine did. Setting up the Mister used to be a bit more involved, but now there's scripts and there's disk images that make it super, super easy, and I'll go through that. The device itself is, as you can see, the board at the bottom. What the board on the top does is it allows you to have buttons and a few more inputs and outputs just to make your life a little bit easier. So you can actually get away with just this D10 Nano. But what you do really need is this is a memory chip. This memory add-on board allows the system to use this, this memory rather than the Nano on board and you can get 32 megabyte up to like 128 megabyte this is 128 megabyte most systems most cars don't need 128 megabyte i got this because some of the neo geo games do you can get away with a 32 quite easily